Hey everyone, Kevin here with Divine Me Design, and I have my second Heartfelt Creations project video for their design team. So what I want to do is I I thought, um, you know, I did the Lighthouse project, which is sort of a 3D altered art using lots of bright colors and... Um, you know, their paper pad for the Under the Sea collection, and I think I made it in a very, like, Heartfelt Creations kind of style. Um, so for my second project, I wanted to do something that was maybe a little bit more on the masculine side, but still had lots of drama to it. So I'm using the Blazing Poppy paper pad, uh, as well as the Blazing Poppy stamps and dies. So the the paper pad itself has lots of reds in it um, for the poppies obviously but they have this really dark uh, piece of paper and if you can you can see it's got some right white script in it and sort of this large uh, white kind of ghost poppy image in it. So I don't really see a lot of dark projects um, on Heartfelt Creations, and I was trying to think of something to do that maybe had a little bit more of a masculine feel, so I thought I was going to use this, this paper. That's sort of where I started. I wanted to use this dark paper. Um, and uh, since I wanted to use this dark paper, I was using the flowers that went along with it, so I'm going to use the poppies. Now, I wanted to do something that still was dramatic, though. I wanted to have it, you look at it and kind of be like, wow. So, um, I thought I would do poppies in really kind of unusual colors. So, what I'm using are these papers from uh, um, Cut Cardstock, which is a company that does uh, paper. And um, these papers sort of have a shimmer to them. So it's probably hard to pick up, but the paper itself has a shimmer. And I have embossed this just, um, you know, with embossing powder. And that's it. There's no other color on it besides the embossing powder. I use the stamps and some Versamark ink to emboss the flowers. And hopefully you can kind of pick up some of the the shimmer that's on the paper itself. Um, and you can see I did the flower so they sort of have a ruffled edge. Um, I did use the flower shaping tool kit they, that Heartfelt Creations have, but actually for these a lot of what I did was just sort of squeeze them in an accordion kind of way. Um, and I, I really dampened the cardstock because this is really thick cardstock. Um, so I really wet the paper first and then sort of crimped them and allowed them to dry. And now they're super, super like stiff. Um, and they have this really cool ruffled edge to them. So I did black with white embossing, this sort of maroon with black embossing, this nice pearl white with a red emboss, and then this um, very bright red with a pearlescent uh, embossing powder. And I like the combination here. So these are the kind of four colors that are going to go on my paper. I'm also going to use some of the leaves. I did this just nothing else to these leaves other than I cut them out. Again, it's with that kind of shimmery cardstock. Um, so there's nothing else on here. And then I just shape them a little bit. And for kind of my main centerpiece for this, I'm going to do a picture. So this um, oval kind of picture frame is from the Blazing Poppy paper collection also. So I just cut it out and then I used uh, Heartfelt Creations uh, border dies. So I used both the regal borders and the ornate borders. The ornate borders are a little bit smaller so they're on the, the ends and then the regal borders are longer so they're on the side. So my plan basically is to have this picture kind of here 
and then do um, flowers that are kind of go in a diagonal across here um, with a little bit of maybe an accent kind of on the corners. But the main spray of flowers is going to be diagonally this way. So I'm going to have sort of a small empty space up here and a larger empty space here. Um, on this black piece of paper. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add some distress to this black piece of paper. And underneath, I'm going to have this red piece of paper. Now, this is also from the Blazing Poppy collection. And my intention is to distress it enough so that you will be able to see some of the red through the black. Okay, so that's the plan. Um, I'm going to distress this paper, and I'm probably going to do a combination of kind of tearing the edges, and I have a Dremel tool um, that I'm going to change out my top for this. Um, it's actually a drill bit, but it has, um, it's kind of a funky drill bit, and I, that's what I use to distress my edges. It makes it go a lot faster. Uh, and so that I will do the drill bit and a combination of kind of tearing. And I may do some um, slashes or larger breaks in the paper too. But I'm probably just gonna speed this up here a little bit, okay? All right, let's get started. Okay, um, so you probably saw that that gets kind of messy, um, but I love the frayed like edges that gives it. Um, I, I really want kind of that distressed look. And because this is um, kind of black, white, and red, um, I'm not going to distress this further with brown on the sides. Uh, just because I like that contrast. However, um, the back page of this piece of paper is that red uh, paper that I'm going to use. So because I want some contrast, I think what I'm going to do is take some Distress Ink um, in, let's see, in Walnut Stain, and I'm going to Just, I'm just going to put it on the red that's on these curls here because I want, I want to tone this red down. Only because um, I want the red that's peeking through here to be a lot, to be the folk, or to the be bright, right? So it has a little bit more dramatic effect. Okay, I think that's really all I need. All right, so now we have some of that red peeking through. And I may, I may add a few more hairs in here, but before I do that, I want to add some embossing, some embossing paste, I should say. Um, I love using that tool, but it does get messy. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use some modeling paste. This is from uh, Finnevar or Art Basics, and 
uh, again, I think my, my picture is going to go right about here. I'm going to use a Tim Holtz uh, stencil. Uh, this is called uh, Flourish. Uh, Flourish is the name of it. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of right here, I'm going to add some, and then a little bit up here as well. So let me position this kind of where I want it. Okay, while, um, while my paste is still um, wet, I have some semi-transparent sparkle and sprinkle. Um, I got this at a convention. Um, I think I won a door prize. It's called Lavender Iris. It's mostly white, but it does have these tiny little purple flecks in it. Um, so I'm going to try this. I haven't ever used it before. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. All right, I'm going to clean up my glitter and um, dry that off, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I added some more distressing um, sp spots. I dried my embossing powder. Or, I'm sorry, I dried the glitter and the embossing paste that was there. And then I glued everything down. And the other thing I did was I added a coat of... Um, um, fixative spray just so the glitter um, so the glitter doesn't uh, come off um, and I just gave it a light spraying on that so um, I, I'm gonna put my picture here right so and the spray of flowers will go this way um, on the back I've put two layers of uh, foam tape uh, because I want to give it some height so I added two layers and before I put that down, though, I am planning to do some other sort of mixed media elements here. So I'm going to be uh, preparing kind of the space underneath. And I have some twine. This is really thin um, hemp twine. And I have some colored twine as well and a little bit of uh, lace. So I'm going to be kind of putting that down um, and just putting some of those things down first before I put this down. So I'm, uh, I'm probably going to speed this up. Okay, so um, the rest of what I'm going to do is just arrange the flowers um, in, in a, you know, kind of a pattern that is aesthetically pleasing. And then I have a few other elements I'll be adding in, and I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing, but um, I, have, um, I have some little mini pearls, and I have some other um, pearls on wire. Uh, I have a couple of sort of hat pins uh, that I might use. I have uh, some, some netting uh, that I might add in. And uh, I think that's it. We'll see how it goes, but I'm just gonna play with the arrangement and add the flowers in. So, okay, here we go.
Okay, there we have it. Um, I think I'm all finished. Um, I just arranged, you know, the the poppies, the blazing poppies, kind of again in this major, you know, one line here, but added a little bit of a, um, you know, a grouping here. I kind of like the rule of threes, right? And kept this very minimal down here at the bottom, just um, just enough to add a little bit of balance, I think. Um, the leaves were tougher than I thought. Um, I thought having them in this darker green color was going to um, go really well, um, but I, you saw me cutting down a few of the leaves. Um, I think they like they just started to overwhelm uh, the space. So, and I I don't you know I didn't want this to start to feel Christmassy, and I kind of felt like some of the too much of that green was doing that. Uh, and in fact, I may, I may t give this, you know, I may let this sit for a minute or two and then come back and look at it. And then I may trim some of the, uh, the leaves a little bit more, or I might, um, I might darken them a little bit with some distress ink. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I might come in with a little bit of brown and, uh, tone down some of that the the green that's in them so but otherwise I think that's it I really I really like the way it came out I love the dark background I love the little bit of shimmer here that you can see I love the red sort of peeking through in various places I like the overall color scheme of the red the black the white um, I think it looks really fantastic so okay that's it comments questions Leave them below, um, and if you aren't subscribed to my channel, click on that subscribe button, and um, that's it. Check back for uh, my third design team project. Um, I'll be working on that one next. Okay, bye everyone.